you doing, guys? Dan Higgins here over at Camera Concepts over in Stony Brook, New York. Um, we have a couple of exciting new things that are going on here. I got my my colleague Minos, Dr. Minos Criticos over here. Uh, he works with me as well over in uh, Camera Concepts. Um, he came up with a nice, interesting little design here um, that's pretty, pretty unique. So uh, I'm gonna leave it up to Minos to kind of go over what he did over here and uh, walk us through it. Right, so it's not so much a design as it is an adaptation. So okay. we kind of like put together pieces of different puzzle kind of making. Okay, All I right, like puzzles. So <laughs> what we have here is one of Skywatch's new products, the AZ GTI, which you can buy it and it comes with the mount head, comes with the pier, and a, a nice lightweight tripod. Now this is an altitude azimuth mount, which is great for visual and it's great for short exposure mm -hmm. astrophotography. But ever since Skywatcher released a beta firmware, which would allow this mount to perform in an equatorial mode. Oh wow, okay. Then things started getting a little bit interesting. So. I've actually been using this product out in the field since the summer, and it works. It's brilliant. It's yeah, it's it, a, it just works. I've actually it's, seen your setup, and it's, yeah. it's very, very impressive. So. so what we've done here is we've taken the equatorial wedge from the Star Adventure, a mount similar to this, but different in the sense that it only tracks in right ascension. Okay. This guy has two motors. It tracks in right ascension. And declination. And declination. Nice. What does that mean? This means this is a full, fully EQ functioning mount. equatorial yeah. mount for astrophotography. And it's the l most lightweight mount. How, how light is it? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know the number, <laughs> that, but it's... That's pretty light. And that's with, a, and that, and that, and that's with this on there. <laughs> yeah, so I got the battery. So, that's pretty light. I mean, it, it, it looks pretty sturdy. It looks pretty great. I, I, I'm wondering what kind of results we could get out of it. I, um, I can put a link to my Astrobin underneath where okay. I've been using this since the summer. You guys feel free to take, uh, take a look. This thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, and what's the uh, capacity on this? So we can put up to 11 pounds. Okay. So that's not bad for small refractors, small SCTs, small Macs. Even a Mac, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you can shoot deep sky, wide field. You can shoot planetary with this. This thing will track. It will guide. It will plate solve. Oh, yeah, you it's got, it's got uh, internal Wi-Fi as well, right? It has internal Wi-Fi. Yeah. So the way I connect to it is with one less cable. That's awesome. So I control this from my laptop. Skywatcher has a, a wonderful, easy to use application that is available on Windows, iOS, and Android. Nice, nice. But I use the Windows version because that allows me to use powerful astrophotography uh, software. Sure, sure. To interface with it wirelessly. So either, uh, either SG like Pro or SG Pro, SharpCap, uh, Maxim, whatever you got. Maxim, whatever yeah. you're using, it, and we, we will print out a one-page directions to, with links for you to get the beta firmware. Okay. Uh, get all the apps running. It's ASCOM powered. You can connect to it. Yeah, and that's they, what I was going to ask. All yeah. ASCOM drivers are, are good. All, Platform uh, yeah. 6.3. Yes. Yeah. You know. this, this works like it's bigger brethren. Okay. And it, it actually behaves beautifully. It, it, you tell it to go to, it goes to without problems. It has very little backlash. I'm super happy with its tracking and guiding performance. Very easy to polar align, but most of all, it weighs so little. I know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm actually thinking about getting something like this with a, with a smaller right, refractor. Right, right, Just so when I don't want to set up, I have a 5-inch refractor. And, you, you have know, a 5-inch refractor. It, you know, I, I got an Atlas EQ mount. It's a, it's a, it's a, That's a I mean, if I, could, if I could bring this outside and just set it up and be done with it and play, plate some and go right from my bedroom. Right. So... I, the reason we're presenting this to you today is because we've put this package together. It doesn't come off the shelf this way. No. It does. We've done our homework and our research, and we found the proper way to assemble this. We've done some tweaks to it so okay. that it works guaranteed the way I've been using it since the summer. And we will sell this as a package. Okay. So what's the package cost? I don't know. 
Oh, okay. We have to edit we'll, that. One we'll put out. that at the bottom. We'll put that at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but but that's that's so okay. So let's just think about sort of the Star Adventure. You'd have to buy that, right? Yeah. So you buy the Star Adventure, the which comes with the pier and the tripod, and you would normally have to buy the wedge and the counterweight separately. These belong to the Star Adventure, the previous version. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I mean, we just put it together. We, for you and we do the necessary modifications for it to work correctly because it's not as easy as you'd think and we will sell it to you as a package and it's ready to go i mean we just have a scope here just to oh. demonstrate this is there just a scope we had lying around a very very nice c5 yep. spotting scope um max no, 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 smith has a grain yep. apologies I've been thinking Max, that's right. I know, yeah, we just... So, we just... I've, I've had a Mac for a while, and... Just put a ZWO camera on it. Throw it on here. And make sure you have your can of weight on, on first before you Yeah, this. never <laughs> have, Even though this is a very lightweight, yeah. still good practice to have your can of weight on. Good. And then you just balance it. You can release the right ascension clutch. Again. Yeah. That's balanced with there a two-pound counterweight. We have additional counterweights if you want to go for an additional up the cost, payload. Right? Yeah. Yep. And and this comes with a hand controller as well, right? No. No hand controller. The hand controller is the free application that you download for the app. From, from your, your phone or your, your phone or your laptop, which is okay. what we're going to do now. 